Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday. I just recorded the winner of Olive's book. So I'm in the exact same position and same clothes and everything. My tree's poking me again. I gotta scoot over. <laughs> but I filled the hole that I mentioned in my vlog and also someone mentioned in the comments. I was just waiting to get these ornaments up here. And um, there probably was something hanging there at one point, but Jesse keeps kind of moving the ornaments around. So stuff's getting moved all over the place, but that's okay. Some of them need to be fluffed. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. I didn't do anything at all yesterday. I wasn't sick feeling, I was just um, sore feeling. My muscles are still getting stretched out, you know, because my uterus and my baby's growing. And that night I had moved weird in the bed and it pulled something in my stomach and it hurt really bad. <laughs> and I was just recovering from that. I pretty much sat on the couch all day and watched TV. And I did crochet a little bit yesterday. I crocheted the squid for Jesse right here. He took it to school today for Chantel. And yeah, but these, these are my movie squares. I forgot to say that's what this video is for. <laughs> I just went right into talking. So these are my movie and stitch squares for Q, R, and S. I made these over the weekend. I'm not exactly sure when. I was making them while watching TV and stuff. So I made the appliques first and then I went back and made the squares. Yeah, so I'm gonna just try to, I'm trying to get caught up. <laughs> so I did QRS, so I'm getting there. But for my Q movie, I picked the Disney movie called Quince. It's a Disney Channel movie. I used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> it came out when I was like 10. And uh, we, me and my sister watched it a lot on Disney Channel. And uh, it's about a family who has Quince, <laughs> five babies. And uh, so I made this square for that. I made baby bottles. <laughs> they don't really look like baby bottles, they look like candles. But uh, I didn't use a pattern, I just, winged baby bottles. I made two pink ones and three blue ones because in the movie they have three boys and two girls and then I put a yellow background. Super easy. The square is the super or the easy says it best square. It's free Ravelry download. I'll link it below but the appliques I just did myself. They look goofy. <laughs> that was my key movie. So my R movie was another Disney movie because I love Disney. Was Ratatouille which I love. That's one of my favorite uh, newer Disney movies. Um, it's just so cute. <laughs> so this applique, don't laugh at my applique. I made this one too by myself. I didn't use a pattern, but I made a little mouse <laughs> or a rat, I guess, wearing a shelf's hat. <laughs> I didn't have enough room to put the hat on his head, so I had to put it on his ear. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my mouse. He's cute. Rat. It's supposed to be a rat. And I just made the, the background green because of grass, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but there's my rat square for Ratatouille. <laughs> And then this one, I'm not super happy with the way this one turned out. I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I might remake it. But my S movie was Sandlot. The Sandlot. Which I love. I've always loved that movie ever since it came out. Um, it's like a classic for 90s kids. But uh, yeah, so I made my square. I thought it'd be cool to make a square that looks like a baseball. <laughs> but it kind of doesn't look like a baseball. I was going to do top stitching. But I don't like doing top stitching. So I just like embroidered it on there. And I'm not exactly happy with the way it turned out. But it doesn't look baseball ish <laughs> it looks goofy but it's just white with red lines stitched on it so that is my q r and s square quince ratatouille and the sandlot <laughs> but uh yeah so i'm getting some progress done let's see here my t movie is going to be the three stooges the movie not the show it's it came out oh gosh sometime in the 2010s around there maybe the early 2000s I can't remember exactly but it's a really funny movie we watch it a lot and um, it's just so funny so that's gonna be my T movie uh, my U movie is gonna be up I picked out the rest of my movies for the rest of the the letters but I can't remember what they are right off the top of my head <laughs> but I remember the three stooges and uh, up are my next two so I'll be working on those um, Hopefully soon, <laughs> if I don't procrastinate. But I'm trying to get this done because I'd like to get this blanket done before the end of the year. Because if I wait until after the new year, I may not get it done <laughs> anytime soon because of having a baby. But those are my squares so far. I'm getting there. I, most of them are made. So I got to do <clears throat> T through Z. And then I got to put them all together. And then I want to do, I want to line them on the back with some fleece or something. And uh, do a border. I may not do a border because the blanket's going to be pretty busy itself. If I do a border, it might just be really simple, like a single crochet border or something. I don't know. 
I'll cross that bridge when I get there. But these are my squares. So I got some work done. I haven't worked on these in forever. So it was nice to get some of them done. Um, yeah, so T through Z is what I got left to do. So I just need to get on the ball and do that. <laughs> some of my squares are slightly bigger than the other ones because the, the thickness of the yarns are a little bit different. So it might be a wonky looking blanket, but that's okay. Because <laughs> it's just going to be like a blanket for the living room. Um, I'm sure it'll end up with stains on it from Jesse and June. So it's not like a big deal that it needs to be perfect. But yeah, so that's my squares. I'm caught up, kind of. <laughs> I think uh, Terry and all of them is almost done. I think they were like on X. And um, I saw Valerie's, but I can't remember what. I think she was on W, maybe? The last one I saw. So I got to catch up with them <laughs> and get done. But I'm getting there. I'm going to finish it. I just don't know if I'm going to actually finish the blanket. But I want to finish the squares before the end of the year. And because it'll be easy setting around, putting them together. I'll probably crochet them together because it's easier. It'll give it ridges, but um, it's easier to me than like whip stitching it. And then I will do the the backing on it. It's really easy too because um, it's crocheted on. Once you get the holes cut in it, it's crocheted on. So yeah, that'll be easy. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ask me again when I get around to doing it. But yeah, so I just wanted to hop on here and share those squares with you guys. And I'm going to hop off and get these two videos edited and get them uploading. And then I will see you tomorrow for what you're working on Wednesday. So I got to make Jesse a hat. Uh, he wants a new hat. His hats, I made them last year, are already too small because he got a big old head. And um, he wore one of my hats to school yesterday. And he got a lot of compliments from the teacher getting him out of the car. Uh, it was cute. But he wants a hat to match his squid. <laughs> I was going to put tentacles on it. But I'm afraid he might get in trouble for wearing that to school because it's a, like a novelty thing, you know, instead of like a, I mean, it's functional, but I don't want him to get in trouble for having something that's distracting. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use the same colors that I use for his squid, which he picked out, which are weird colors and they don't really go good together. But, um, I let him, I always let him pick out colors when I'm making him stuff. So, um, sometimes they come out wonky, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Watch Work on Wednesday. Bye guys.